Until three years ago, these kids could only dream of playing sport. My parents couldn't take me to play sport. There's too many problems. We have too many problems. What I like the most is the training. I love the training. All these teen basketballers were born in Italy, but the law doesn't recognise them as Italian. Their parents came on boats from Libya, their applications for asylum denied. For them, basketball is a genuine opportunity. When they are here, the life they live is truly wonderful. When they go back to their homes, their lives are very complicated. These kids live in Castel Volturno, in between Rome and Naples, but you won't find this place in a tourist brochure. It's one of the most dangerous parts of Europe, a mafia stronghold where drugs, prostitution and people smuggling rackets are based. Subito mi accorgo. The first time they entered a sports stadium, I immediately realised these kids had no concept of discipline at all. It was utter chaos. After four months, I had to have an operation on my vocal cords. Massimo Antonelli took to the stage at TEDx Naples earlier this year, where the audience was thrilled to see a sporting icon up close. He became famous playing for the Italian national basketball team in the 80s. He was appalled to learn that kids in his hometown were being deprived of sport. Nowhere to play, no fields or courts of any kind. Tell me what you think of your coach. What's he like? For me, he's like a father. He's like a father. I feel emotional. How do I feel when I play? I feel happy. Every one of these kids walks or rides a bike up to 20 kilometres just to make it to training. Their parents are too poor and too desperate to worry about sport. Nothing would have been possible without the fundraising efforts of their coach. It's given them a stadium and a minibus to get them home safely. So once they were match ready, they were shocked to learn that Italian law forbid the team from entering competitions. No more than two foreign players are allowed on any sporting side. It was a revelation, a shocking revelation, when in September 2017 I went to sign up to the regional championships. The team's called Tam Tam, an Italian term for making a fuss. Italian movie stars and sporting legends rallied to the cause. The Save Tam Tam Basket law was passed in 2018. It gives the right to play competitive sports to the children of undocumented migrants, all 800,000 of them across the country. These are kids living on the margins. They are caught at the intersection where the chance to do good meets the chance to do bad, and we are giving them the opportunity to take the path to a good life. Like all good fairy tales, Tam Tam went on to win the regional title, but it's exposed a new challenge. They're permitted to play locally, but still banned from national competitions. Ironically, as kids, they can't play in the National League, but as adults, they may well represent Italy one day, just like their coach, because when they turn 18, they'll all be automatically entitled to citizenship. But coach Massimo isn't giving up. With just weeks to go before the national competition begins, he's really going to start making a noise.